have a full-time job. I'm a volunteer, just like the rest of the volunteers. After working a long, hard day at work, they come out here. They're out doing interviews with me. Starting at 5.30 in the evening, and we don't get back till 9.30, 10 o'clock at night. Go home and then get up the next morning and go back to work. That's a commitment. To see this program grow in the last 25 years is just amazing on Senior Plumbing. He shared that vision with everyone he met. He wanted every child living in downtown LA to have a magical Christmas, one that he remembered as a child growing up where he came downstairs and found presents under the tree, a warm meal, and he knew how important that was to every child. We go and we seek the family. We find out what their needs are by visiting them and sitting with them and hearing their story and then getting a lot of their needs fulfilled. Well, as, as Paul Francis just said, you know, we have an obligation to the environment and the people are part of that environment too. I got a good education, I had a good family. I've never wanted anything, I've never missed a meal. Why? I can't tell you why, except that God gave me that gift. And then someday he's gonna say, what'd you do with it? You know, I've seen every aspect of this program, from coming in as a volunteer to rap, to going out and delivering gifts, and to now working with doing the interview process and working with our donors. It just makes me feel so humbled. Humbled with the families that I get to meet. Humbled by the volunteers I get to work with. I always tell everyone that this program's a success because of the volunteers that come. When I first saw Lydia and the fire in her eyes, and then on, on delivery day to see her extended family. There's a tradition where they get together and have a group photo, and, and these are all volunteers. Year after year, they're all involved. And, and when you see this, it's contagious, and you want to be part of it automatically. Every year I've learned something. I've learned what it is to be someone that stands on a street corner, a vendor. I've learned to see the look on someone's eyes when, you know, with. They want to give their children, but they can't afford it. Mi nombre es María Mendoza. La primera vez que me dieron, yo me sorprendí porque dije, hoy tantas cosas. O si se acabara eso, a los niños qué les diera. Hay veces que cuando me traen, a veces lloro porque digo, yo no conozco estas personas y me traen. Porque como a ellos les han costado su dinero o sus cosas, no sé. Pero yo estoy bien agradecida. You don't know the, the kind of an impact you have on, on these people, on these families. You know, it's, it's, um, it goes a long way. I mean, I'm 37 now and those are some of the most vivid memories in my life. Waking up to, you know, these people with all this joy and, you know, just handing all these things to us and yeah, I just want to um, thank you so much and just you know, keep doing what you're doing and um, God bless you.